we know from Einstein that everything is energy and vibration. And this energy is the light ether, or consciousness, vibrating in different frequencies. This, of course, includes also our material universe. A good example to recognize this is music. We can actually see the vibration, hear the vibration and feel the vibration. And emotionally, we all respond to music differently, according to our own taste and preference. Therefore, music is also a perfect example to explain the law of attraction. Earth is a very unique planet where souls of all different consciousness levels and vibration living very close together. That is most unusual in the cosmos where normally only birds of a feather flock together according to the law of attraction. Therefore, let's take the example of a big city where all different people of diverse backgrounds, interests, religions, races and beliefs live next door to each other. Imagine it is Saturday night and there are several musical events taking place in that large city. For instance, here we have an enormous sports stadium that features a rock concert. Thousands of excited fans from all over town and country are flocking to this event and filling the arena. And here is the symphony hall, where classical music lovers come from everywhere to enjoy an evening of classical music. They are usually dressed a bit differently than the rock star fans. And over here we have a techno club that offers electronic dance music, the repetitive rhythm and hypnotic pounding beat attract countless dedicated fans who keep dancing and sweating until the early morning hours. And maybe here we have a little old-fashioned jazz cellar. It still attracts a fair amount of followers every Saturday night. And then there are many, many other musical venues from pop concerts, opera, rapper music, country music and chamber music, and the list goes on and on. Each one draws its very unique and specific audience. Here we can see that everyone is only attracted to a musical vibration that reflects their personal taste and preference. We can also say it reflects their specific vibration of consciousness. What unites all of them is their deep desire to be exposed, enveloped, yes, even acoustically flooded and penetrated by their specific favorite musical vibration. It doesn't matter if it's heavy metal or opera. They all paid big money and traveled far to be part of this intense emotional experience. Naturally, a similar concentration of consciousness levels happens also during the weekday when all bankers go to the financial district, the restaurateurs to the restaurant district and so on. But with music, it's a little different, because here we all come together for pleasure and enjoyment, not for work. It is truly a perfect example of the pulling force of the law of attraction in action. Now, the same happens with virtually everything else in life. But most importantly, this law determines our future life and where we will be after our physical death. Each soul will be attracted to the spiritual spheres and planets that correspond with its overall soul frequency. So now it's not our musical taste that determines where we will live, but who we actually are. Our own soul vibration, our level of consciousness that is made up of our remaining soul burden, our beliefs, our programs, our vices and everything that is not yet in a correspondence with the law of divine love. So here in the spiritual realms, all souls of same or similar vibration or consciousness are clustered together. Their spiritual progress is usually much slower than here on earth where we can mix with many different levels of consciousness. Therefore, Every day, here on Earth, we have the opportunity to fine-tune and purify our soul. So with our own free will, we can decide from moment to moment whether we shall eventually be attracted to the higher spheres in the spiritual cosmos or to the lower astral spheres or even Earth itself as an earthbound soul. The process is simple but not always easy. It involves consequently living by the golden rule, clearing up 
our soul burden through forgiveness and no longer doing the same mistakes. Every day, the Spirit of God streams through everything and gently and without judgment briefly touches anything that is not in accordance with the law of love in us, so that we become aware of what it is that needs to be cleared up. This way, we raise our consciousness and frequency, particularly when all our thoughts, words and actions are motivated by selfless, unconditional, unlimited and all-inclusive love. Eventually, we all will return back to our spiritual home. But with our free will and God's constant assistance and help, we can do it much, much faster. I hope I see you in my next video.